Hi there guys, hope you are all well. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So, new series starts this video. Um, I'm recording this on Wednesday, but I'm starting this obviously tomorrow. I'm going to be starting an FTMO challenge. Now, if you followed the channel for a while, you'll have seen that I've done multiple of these. I've passed them, uh, people have followed along along the way, and hopefully obviously learned something as well. So the plan is, I've had a 50,000 challenge sat there for ages and I've just not taken it. So my plan is to probably start that from next week. So again, it is, it's the 20th today. Obviously it'll be for the following week. Now I am gonna post all the trades I take in my group. So if you're part of that, obviously you'll have access to the trades. But what I'm gonna do is quickly break down in this video, my plan, approach, and the rules I will follow to obviously hopefully pass this. Now, just because I've passed challenges before does not necessarily mean that I'm gonna pass this challenge. That's just not how it works. So hopefully the market obviously goes in my favor. The strategy that I use continues to work. And then obviously it is then not up to me. This is one of the things that you've got to realize when you are trading. Not everything is in your control. You can find all the reasons to enter a trade, every single box could be ticked, but at the end of the day, if the market moves against you, the market moves against you. That is all that you can do. So, first of all is the plan. What strategy am I gonna be trading? Now, the strategy that I trade currently is built up of multiple confluences. For me to enter a trade, I need to see three out of, let's say, six confluences. So, whatever combination it is out of the confluences I use that will validate a trade. I don't know if you can see the chart behind me there, probably not due to the zoom, but I find areas within the market where there's multiple reasons I think it's gonna go up or down, and I will take a trade based off that. All trades I take will be called in my channel, so if you are interested, click the link in the bio. So hopefully, by the end of this, you will obviously see a past challenge. It's gonna be a weekly episode. Now, if the challenge is passed in a week, then obviously it goes on to the verification, but who knows? I don't have a target, really. I'm just gonna take the trades that I see, and obviously, if I pass, great. If I get a retry, it is what it is, okay? So, plan-wise, I'm gonna be trading only in the daytime in the UK, so from about 8 a.m. in the morning, to 5 p.m. in the evening. Any trades outside of them time zones I am not going to take. I'm gonna avoid high impact news. So let's say for example we have CPI for the US dollar coming out at two, three o'clock. I know that that is gonna affect every single pair in the market, so I will avoid trading that. So let's say I'm not in a trade by 12 o'clock, I'm probably gonna cancel everything and then just go to the next day. I'm going to be doing pending orders, usually with a 20 pip stop loss on the 4 hour time frame and I will target 1 to 2 R and then hopefully taking a partial and leaving a runner should the market continue to go in my direction. So that's the approach I'm going to be taking guys, obviously at the minute there's a bit of volatility in the market with gold previously being at all time highs, Bitcoin being at all time highs. So investors are kind of putting the money here there and everywhere but i'm just going to do what i can okay so this will be kind of like the first episode which will be dropping i'm just basically explaining my plan what i'm going to be looking for the format i'm doing it and then hopefully next thursday is going to be the actual day where you see my first week of progress if you are in the group and followed along you should be where i am um, but yeah guys, so that is the new series that's coming to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, obviously do. Um, and yeah, I will see you next Thursday.